This is Dr. Andrew Young at St. John's Hospital. We wanted to spend a few moments talking about bilateral knee replacements, or in other words, doing both knee replacements, and the controversy related to the timing, whether they should be done at the same time or spaced apart, whether they should be simultaneous or staged. We'll get into the current science, the thinking, the controversies, the risks, the benefits, and really the consensus on how patients with bilateral knee arthritis should be treated today. So some patients only have arthritis in one leg, but having arthritis in both knees is so common. Almost half of all people who have arthritis in one leg will have it in the other. And many people only show up to the office once both knees stop working. So it's a major clinical problem. The challenge then is to figure out the best way to approach surgery and correction. Should it be done at the same time or should it be done in a fashion that is spaced apart? And the answer really depends on your definition of best. Does it mean, does best mean what is the safest way? Does best mean what is the most cost effective way? Or is it related to which one has the lowest length of stay, or which one has the lowest risk of mortality. And so BEST has several different definitions, and we'll look at a couple of them. So there's been controversy over the past 20 years about the best or the safest way to proceed. Uh, there's a lot less controversy in the past five years, but over the past 20 years, there's been controversy. There are advantages of doing both knees at the same time, and, and those theoretically are one hospitalization, one anesthetic, one recovery, and a reduced cost. So potentially, it can be more convenient for patients. But over the past 15 years, it's become clear that doing both at the same time also carries more risks. And while there are advantages in terms of cost and convenience, there may be very clear risks medically related to bleeding, blood clots, cardiac, and neurologic issues. In the event of any type of controversy, it's always best to go to the literature, or in other words, to go to the evidence for the best possible explanation of the, our current understanding. Uh, so this paper that came out recently, this year in 2021, helps us answer this question about the safety of simultaneous versus stage bilateral knee replacement. This is a very large study conducted over 20 years, and it looked at thousands of patients, almost 3,000 who had them at the same time and 1,600 who had it staged. And they looked at the complication profile and the findings reconfirmed our understanding of the medical complications of simultaneous knee replacements and the relative safety of stage bilateral knee replacement. So the authors looked very critically and clearly at the results and at the relative safety of each of these procedures. And I'll quote their conclusion. The study demonstrates that simultaneous, which is doing both at the same time, simultaneous bilateral total knee replacement is associated with more complications and revisions when compared to staged bilateral total knee replacement. Their conclusion further state performing simultaneous bilateral total knee replacement simply for convenience is not warranted. And the main risks come down to loss of blood or anemia, electrolyte disturbance, pulmonary embolism, respiratory, urinary, gastrointestinal neurologic complications and failure. And we'll look a little bit more deeply into their discussion about why these things happen. A major problem they noted in simultaneous bilateral knee replacement compared to stage was an increased amount of relative blood loss. There's always bleeding in surgery, but the authors noted that the second knee bled even more than the first. And the, a consequence of this was that there were lower blood pressures afterwards, there was more hypotension and that has an effect on the cardiac and neurologic systems. Why the knee bleeds more the second time around may be to 
a relative decrease in the clotting factors, the protein and the platelets that are used to stop bleeding in the midst of surgery. Those clotting factors are used up in the first knee and are less available on the second knee. The authors then found that there was less bleeding when they staged, and it could be that the interval between surgeries, whether it's a month or three months or a year, allows the body to rebuild the clotting factors that decreased after the first surgery. The authors also noted very importantly that there was a reduction in neurologic complications when the knees were staged apart with an interval of time rather than done simultaneously. There was a decrease in stroke, mental status changes, and confusion. And these authors hypothesized that this may have been released related to an increase in anesthetic time for simultaneous knees and the increased need for pain medication when both knees are done at the same time, or the increase of blood loss like we talked about earlier, increased fluid shift or increased dehydration. Another major medical issue the authors noted in simultaneous bilateral knee replacement was an increase in blood clots, both in the leg, which is called a DVT or a deep vein thrombosis, and even more significantly, a pulmonary embolus, which is a blood clot that migrates to the lung. And this may be related to the increasing possibility of blood clot formation related to longer surgery times when both knees are done at the same time and the increasing blood loss that occurs when a second knee is done at the same time. The importance of this most recent study, the one I just alluded to, is important because it reconfirms our understanding. Bilateral total knee replacement at the same time was done very commonly 20 to 30 years ago. In fact, we practice this very commonly, but around the mid 2000s, 2005, 2007, it became increasingly more apparent that there were medical risks associated with the procedure. This was one of the hallmark papers at the time published in 2007, almost 15 years ago. Uh, these authors looked at almost 30,000 patients. They looked at 27,000 patients into two groups and quote the author, authors, they concluded that compared with staged bilateral or unilateral total knee replacement, simultaneous bilateral total knee replacement carries a higher risk of serious cardiac complications, pulmonary complications, and mortality. And so it was these findings back in 2007 that began to highlight us and alert us to the risks of doing two knees at the same time. And again, even looking deeper into the literature, we find that this decision to have two at the same time can still be controversial. There are articles suggesting that there is no difference in complication rates between the two, but then there are also articles stating that simultaneous is associated with a higher complication rate. This most recent article also published this year was an even larger study. It looked at 200 57,000 patients uh, over the past 20 years. And it's a study that comes from Europe. And these authors also noticed a higher risk of 90-day mortality, venous thromboembolism or blood clots and neurologic complications with simultaneous bilateral total knee replacement. So again, it, it may be possible that simultaneous can be done safely, uh, but these articles and the experience with thousands of patients show us that there is incrementally more risk of doing both knees at the same time. So we understand that this can still be a controversial issue. It is tough to be in the position of having two arthritic knees at the same time. The main goal of this short video is so that you would have a starting point to have that discussion with your surgeon. In our own practice, with these mm -hmm. evidence in mind, we encourage patients to do them in a staged fashion. Uh, we just found that it, it's safer for our patients, and that is our biggest concern. In concluding, we will leave this with the understanding that this is not a casual decision. It's a very important decision for you to have 
with your with your surgeon and with your family. Uh, there are many different ways to approach this. Uh, hopefully, this conversation has given you some tools to make better decisions uh, as you look at managing this tough problem. Thank you.